We discussed a while back that when an atom or a molecule releases or accepts electron, we get ions. And we introduce these ions in solution, the solution gets a new name, electrolyte. Electrolytes are important, so you need to get them into your mind. Now that we know what they are, we need to understand where they came from. And it was in 1887 that Savante Arrhenius presented the idea of electrolytic dissociation. What he said was very simple. When a particular substance is dissolved in water, it produces hydrogen ions. And then he called that an acid. Therefore, all acids that follow this are called Arrhenius acids. When a particular substance, when dissolved in water, produces OH- ions, it is called a base. All bases that follow this are called Arrhenius bases. Before we look into the properties, we first need to understand how these acids and bases are useful to us. Let's now understand where these acids are being used. Let's first talk about sulfuric acid. It's known as the king of all acids because it's used in battery acids, ore processing, fertilizer manufacturing, and in oil refining. When we talk about the next acid, which hydrochloric acid is used as a strong cleaning for metals and bricks and removing scales from boilers. I'm going to answer one of the questions that we put to you in the beginning. The world famous Statue of Liberty. It was a gift from France to the United States of America. It stands 91.5 meters tall and weighs 210 tons. The outer layer of the statue is made up of around 300 overlapping copper plates. So initially when it was gifted, it was coppery brown in color. But now because of exposure to moisture and air, it is turned green in color. Which do you think is the most suitable substance for you to remove this rust? Yes, it's HCL. You must be thinking, why aren't we using this HCL to restore it to its original grandeur? This seems to be a very simple solution, isn't it? But you'll have to wait for some time for you to understand why we are not doing that. 